Hey guys, welcome to a, another commentary done by Diggity. Up right in the corner we have Grast, starting as, I want to call Sea Green. I like that color green, though. It's a good color for Protoss. Also, it really makes the text pop, doesn't it? He's starting as the green Protoss, upper left hand, upper right-hand corner, bottom left-hand corner of Mihalic. Starting as the yellow ter Terran, or Miha is almost what I want to say. If I am mispronouncing this, let me know. My Latin-based language pronunciations is okay sometimes, depending on the language, but uh, Russian, Polish, that sort of stuff, I start losing it. Which is unfortunate, because honestly, I feel like the Polish players and community, and the Russian players and community, between both funding and organization, by the way, check out uh, ZZZ0PL when he is streaming, because he is the guy who organizes all of BSL. And uh, yeah, awesome dude. I believe Polish. If he's not bullish, I'm going to feel awful. Anyway, this is the start of Chobo League BSL Season 12. This is Group A. I believe this is the first match you guys are going to see. I think I've accidentally preemptively cast it. So when I get to later points in this bracket, because the replays were not organized for me when I initially casted them, I think I ended up casting later portions of the bracket as though it were the opener. So just be aware of that. This is on Polypoid for a player map. Looks like Grast is going to be opening with a gateway to start. And this is actually a fun grouping. I'm actually really excited about this. We have all races represented. And we have uh, two friends of the stream actually in there. We've got Exit, who I've seen out in the community. He's oftentimes in Artosis' stream. I believe he's participating around in CPL and other locations as well. I've seen him around Rogue's Gallery as well. And also we have Nooks, AKA uh, FT. Not sure how he wants that pronounced, but I just shorten it to Sony on the other side of this bracket. SCV being scooped across to go ahead and move out. It looks like we are seeing a bottom right-hand scout for Grast initially, and Mihalic is making his way to the bottom right-hand corner as well. So both players are probably going to come across each other's bases about the same time, and I believe it's going to be denial of information both directions. Cybernetic score warped in. We do have three probes on gas. We also have the three SCV on gas. Which definitely suggests we're going to see more rapid factory opener rather than a quick command center build comparatively. Barracks lifting off briefly to go ahead and start building that marine. SCV is kind of sitting in the corner as though the gas collection is happening and the command center is going to be built. Okay, never mind. Just That's an odd place for the factory. And I'm wondering if this is going to be, a, if he's going to try to lift off the factory even and try to utilize it to blockade the corner. Kind of odd play there. Probe making its way up, not able to break through the gap. It's going to go ahead and start attacking that supply depot. The Zealot starting to make its way across. So this SCV might have an opportunity to go ahead and sneak in the base. The Dragoon is starting to build. We do have range upgrading as well. But that SCV is going to be able to get scouting information regardless. The Zealot's not going to get a lot accomplished here. It's going to be able to wander up the ramp and get shot by at least two Marines. Grast is continuing to stick on three SCV, which usually indicates that we're going to see a two factory build. But one thing I have learned about Chobo League is, is sometimes you just do not know what you're going to get. Going to stick with the two marine opener. I feel like Grast is a, a known quantity, though. A, a pretty good player. SCV, I believe, wandered up. I'm going to go ahead and switch there. Yeah, it looks like he was able to wander up into the main, get a good look at things. Looks like Grast it wants to start off with a one gate into expansion build. SCV is being hunted down. This is kind of interesting. I like what he's doing. He's got that zealot and that probe kind of out just to provide some some vision. We do see a machine shop to start. Still three SCV on gas, but it looks like this is going to be a machine shop, siege tech, siege tank into taking expansion upgrades. So basically the siege tank moves out here. You siege, you move stuff down, and you go ahead and take your expansion from there. It's going to be a little bit later. Than, the command center is going to be a little bit later than expected, though, because oftentimes when you're pulling this build, what you want to do is pull one or two SCV off the main gas to get that command center out a little bit earlier and faster. Three gateways following the command, the Nexus at the um, natural expansion range just finishing and we have a, so it's going to be three gate robotics facility to follow this up from grass, two dragoons and zealots trying to peek in this natural expansion. They want to try to deny a potential command center as long as possible and it's kind of was looking for it was looking for it kind of on the ground but you can see just a little bit off timing um engineering bay being built as well for the potential dark templar and millich did a pretty good job of keeping this this sev alive 
So he's going to be able to wander and see the fact that he's got a natural expansion up. Is that probe going to wander around and try to deny informa scouting information? Doesn't look like it's going to deny scouting information, but at the same time, it's not wandering up the main to get a good look at this gateway count. And as a result, well, let's see. Is he going to blockade? So sees that, does wander in, at least... I believe he at least saw two gateways, probably saw the third, and should get, if he clicked, a good look at the robotics facility. Mielich on the opposite corner, starting to wander down, getting that turret up, has two siege tanks. Grass not really pressing into this. And Mielich playing very, very cautiously, which gives opportunities for Grass to push ahead economically, if he opted to do so. Getting another siege tank, getting an initial shot on that Zealot, uh, with double hit, and I don't know that Grass could get a lot accomplished unless, unless the siege tank wanders further out, and actually the engineering bay even wandering out to go and uh, go ahead and plant out here in the front. Mielich playing this very, very cautiously. Looks like Grass is already setting up to go ahead and take his 12 o'clock base, realizing that Mielich has gone for more of like a defensive enclosed Terran play. He's popping down another factory, still sitting on the single machine shop. And it looks like what he does want to do is he wants to start... He's already starting to produce vultures. I do not see vulture speed upgrade just yet. It's possible he's going to go for the kind of 9, 10, 11 minute timing somewhere around there. But if he's doing that, he's going to do it without an armory and without that level and weapons upgrade. Oftentimes you'll see players sitting on lower amounts of factories to run that up. Uh, so Mielich just going ahead and macking up. He's getting some additional siege tanks. There he's getting vulture speed. So I, it looks like he is wanting to follow this up with some vulture pressure to go ahead and sneak those out and pick away at Grast's economy while he sits up in macros. Two additional gateways going down for Grast with that 12 o'clock nexus. Unfortunately for Mielich, he's, these Dragoons are already starting to get good concavity to damage those vultures as they're starting to peel out. This is a decent attack force. I like this probe at the 6 o'clock location, going ahead and checking if there was an early third expansion being grabbed, but this is actually a decent amount of siege tanks here for Mihalich, at least at this stage of the game. What I am not accustomed to is a lack of an armory at this stage of the match uh, in, these sort of, in this sort of thing. Uh, observers being produced, probes being transferred to that 12 o'clock base, grassed. Even though he's behind in supply a little bit overall, he's exactly where he wants to be economically. Observer floating forward to go ahead and get a look at the count. And this really does look like it's going to be a push from Mihal. Uh, he's got all sorts of siege tanks producing, all sorts of vultures to support. He's now upgrading mines. So if Gra But Grass should see this. He should see this, yeah, gathering attack force. This is going to be, again, an upgraded army. But if Grass can wander... If he can just press with these Dragoons into this attack force rather than attack the engineering bay and pick off these siege tanks uh, before they're able to plant and just slow this down. He should have a sufficient army to go ahead and engage this. Might want to get a shuttle out. He does have that shuttle uh, slowly coming online to go ahead and deal with this. Right now, he's well behind in supply, though. So Mihalich has a dangerous army out on the field that might be able to just walk straight across the map. And if he can get, if he can get a seal on that natural expansion, he will end up ahead. So Dragoon's getting... Damage. It looks like the Dragoons to the north being pushed back as well. Not engaging and really not slowing this attack force down at all. More Dragoons coming out. There are five factories. Looks like they are, or sorry, five gateways. They are starting to produce skeletons. A sixth gateway being produced. The Dragoons trying to regather. Really not slowing this attack force down at all. And they're taking an immense amount of damage from these Vultures. These Vultures wandering too far. It looks like a handful of them going to get picked off as a result. There are Observers, keep in mind. No mind drags or anything else. And these Dragoons are actually getting wiped out before they're even able to provide support. And it looks like the Vulture's able to wander into the natural expansion of Grass. Grass not really prepared for this attack. The mine's being taken out there, but already several... Oof. Several, already several units being uh, popped up, and Mielich not even bothering to siege with this. He's got so many siege tanks sitting at the natural expansion and no Dragoons to oppose it that he doesn't even to siege, and at which point these Zealots just aren't getting anything accomplished. And that's GG from Grass. Just not prepared... For Mielich doing a yeah nine minute push <clears throat> with no upgrades and straight through. That's I got to admit that's a timing attack I have not seen, but obviously very very effective. <clears throat> Hope you guys enjoyed it. We will move on to game two between Grass and Mielich momentarily. GG.